Preston McCall here again. More about artist websites. I mentioned in the previous video about using my Dreamweaver for my websites. Of course, there are many more website making programs, some even open source or free, but I like Dreamweaver as I'm used to it. You open it up, start a new page. Make sure they're all being stored into your main file on your desktop as a default. Again, make your first page titled Index. When the servers search for your site, they look for the page titled Index. Now there's also something called CSS. <clears throat> that is making areas which are more interactive, like being able to have images float over other areas or even move around. CSS is complicated and advanced learning. I never bother with it, as just making the page simple makes for easier remembering of what to do when I want to change something in the future. There's also an option to see your web page as a design view or code view. Unless you want to learn about coding, just stay in the design view. It is a what you see is what you get type of display or also called WISIWYG, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. It's easier to do it this way. You get to see what you're doing. If you go to many other websites, you'll find a contact us link. Many make a form that you have to fill out in order to send them an email or message. I do not like these as they grab your contact information and usually get more information about you than what you want to give. I avoid using these and do not think they are the way to go. Instead, just connect the Contact Us button to your email address. This way it actually reveals the email, their email address and is stored in your sent log. When you want to recontact them again for any reason, it's easier than going to the website, filling in all that information about you in order to get the message out. Keep it simple. Inserting images or photos of your work is real easy. Look for the insert tab along the top and it will open up your main file where you should have all of your images. If they are not in the, that main file, they may not get loaded amazingly. Not sure if this is how it is today as they may have fixed that bug and the software will load from any file on your computer, but for sanity's sake, I recommend you store all your images, buttons, JPEGs, and HTML pages in your main file. Your index page is what is called an HTML page. Your subsequent pages, like your pictures and your about me and all that stuff, uh, are also HTML pages. Okay, you also gain the advantage if you want to copy that file to another machine easier or to save it on a thumb drive for a very secure way to be sure you always have it. Think smart and save your file. Now you might want to load onto your website a video. I found it best to only load in MP4 files. MOV files and others do not seem to load or open as well. Whether you make your video in any video editing software just check if you can save it as an mp4 file and save it in your main file on your desktop. Hit the insert button and then the media button in the drop down opens and then hit the plug in button in the next drop down. It will open up your main file and click on the mp4 file you want to load. Then you have to size it. At the bottom you'll see an area to set the width and the height. I typically set it at about 700 pixels wide and about 500 tall. Then it shows up on the page. If it's not big enough, change your settings to fit the correct size of the video you want. Video is a bit tricky to make, but with persistence it's not that hard. I use MovieZilla, that is a Microsoft program, that is fairly easy. It costs money. I recall some $70, but it's worth it. It's a bit buggy, and you have to save your stuff as you develop it, as it does crash sometimes. It has some free music, which is really pretty good music, 
uh, royalty free and it's easy to use. Now, we're not sponsored by any of this software or Dreamweaver program. We have no sponsors as we make these for free and just want to help other artists get their work out there. I just recommend these as I'm familiar with these particular softwares. You can go look for free counters, counters on the web. And there are some that you can add to each page and track how many hits each page is getting. Some of these freebies are tricky to use, so beware they may not work like you imagine. They ask for a bit too much of your information, and I'm a bit suspicious of these freebies, so be aware. You can also look into your host monster data and see how many hits you're getting, to some degree. It's usually by the day. If someone is really interested in buying a piece on your website, they will email you or call if you have that vital information on your site. Well, enough tidbits about websites. Should you have any questions, you can email me and I will try to help you. I do not charge for answering questions, of course, so feel free to contact me. If you want me to make your website, we can talk about that, but I do charge for doing these as they generally take some time and I would rather be spending my time painting. So look for the next Naked Artist Exposure video number 120. Please click the like button and please subscribe to get easier access to these. We enjoy the feedback and our subscribers are very important to us. Thanks for watching again. And again, I am Preston McCall.